Hello everybody and welcome back to Steampunk Minecraft. As you can see, I'm back at the Nether Fortress, the tiny Nether Fortress that this is. But just is uh I need more wither skeleton skulls, so uh Anyways, we also need to fill up this soul crystal, so we're going to be here for a little while. But also, I wanted to go ahead and mark this area as another tempad location, so let me go ahead and do that, and we'll call this Nether Fortress. Now, quite simply, I can teleport between home and here now, even when I die. Uh, I do want to get hit by a wither so I can see how much it does. Okay, uh, a heart and a half. That's, like, acceptable, unlike previously. Oh, Everett, I'm sorry, I thought you were- Oh, I'm sorry. Oh... Anyways, let's continue along this fortress. See if we can find anything useful. Another blaze burner. I'm probably just gonna break this one. Ah, <sighs> okay. Oh, hey, buddy. What's going on? Not afraid of you. Just saying. Not afraid. This armor is great. I'm so not afraid anymore. I need to get mending on it, though. Which means we need to take a dip into Forbidden and Arcanus. And so we might do that today. Because that will increase my power level by a substantial amount. How many souls do we have? We have 27. We're not even halfway there, but gotta keep your chin up. This whole time I didn't realize that the section of the nether fortress I was in, if you go into one of the corners where the staircases are, uh, one of them leads downstairs. So, I'm in a new section, looking at stuff. And look how many boys there are down here for me to murder. I only have one Wither Skeleton Skull so far, and I'm gonna want to fight the Wither quite a few times. But we've killed 41 Wither Skeletons, so we're almost done with the Soul Crystal. I also forgot to mention this, but I do have nine Blaze Burners now, so we're pretty much set on our Steam Engine, as well as any other engines we want to make. Oh, who's angry? Does this mean I can't trade with you, like, at all? Yep, yeah, pretty much. Well, I'm sorry, buddy. Wait, I can capture you. <laughs> I didn't even think about that until just now. Could have a whole piglin trading hall up in my base. One quick change we gotta do here, so we have even more stress capacity. Oh no, what happened? Oh no. Am I not generating enough lava at the magma factory? That's a problem. That's not true. What happened? I think the nether, being in the nether, chunk loaded everything except for the magma factory. So this was still running, and it probably ran out. That's not good. That's not good at all. And the only way to fix that would be to have a tank inside this this steam factory. So it would also be chunk loaded. That's fine. We'll deal with that later. It's not a big deal. I ain't afraid. Come here. What do we got? Oh, they just said it. Soul gem reaches whatever. Cool. Mob is soul cage compatible and soul revitalizer compatible. 64 until average tier. So I wonder if I make a second soul crystal, if I can farm that soul crystal off of this soul crystal. Because I do not want to kill 64 more of these guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to go home now. Because I'm done here. Uh, soul. Soul cage. So if I just place this, does it work? Can I pick it up afterwards? I don't, I don't know how this... This whole thing works, so I'm just gonna... I don't want to put it right there in case it does something weird. Okay, we're gonna pop down just a little bit. Like around... Here. There we go. Now we've got a center. Place that there. Grab our soul crystal. And plop it in. And there we go. We've got wither skeletons. Now we can automate this with things like create. But what we eventually want to do is... Set this up in the soul revitalizer. <sighs> Anyways, but this requires a soul crystal and power. Anyways, there's things you can do. So basically to do this stuff, you just um, you just build the structures that's displayed, throw the soul powder in the soul fire, and then it turns into stuff. So for example, go ahead and put four quartz blocks, soul sand, ignite that bee, and throw in a soul powder. And turn off your magnet, obviously. <laughs> and it consumes it. Oh, maybe doesn't work on mobs spawned from the soul cage, which would make sense for balancing reasons. It's unfortunate, but that's okay. We can use the soul crystal on something else. So I'm just going to sit here and farm these guys for a while until I get a bunch of wither skulls. So I was just sitting here killing withers and I was going through my quests. It turns out I have a choice reward in one of these and I could literally just choose another right ingot, which I will probably do. I mean, ignitium or ign ignitum probably would uh maybe be better but i'm gonna do netherite because i need that for things which means i could probably once i kill the wither skeleton one more time get this enchanter's pearl which will let me do more stuff 
enchanting his chance to produce both curses and treasure enchantments. And I think I have a split, um, and, and curses don't matter because they have the, we have ways to remove curses and more enchantments, more better. I was like, why am I getting netherite scraps? Uh, the the freaking wither skeletons drop netherite scraps. Like I know that the gas tiers were dropping and they're not a part of the loot table, at least from JEI, but they're freaking dropping them. They're dropping netherite scraps. Like what? I've got three and I've got like four more in my chest and I haven't even smelted any of the ancient debris. This is amazing. I'm about to max out dense skin and I, I take like no damage. Check this out. Boop, half a heart, that's it. That's it. Goodbye. Nothing good. <laughs> Boom. Maxed out dense skin. So I take so much less damage now. And now the rest can go into... Uh, honestly, strong fists would be a pretty good idea. Okay, good news. I can pull the soul crystal out as much as I want and continue leveling it up. What I saw, at least in the spirit mod, is that if you get the soul revitalizer, which is obviously what I'm working towards, this is going to be a pain in the butt because I need a lot of soul steel you can see i need one two three four five six seven eight soul steel blocks that's gonna be eight iron blocks and aside from that it's gonna be a lot of glowstone because to do this i need four compressed soul powder blocks each and a compressed soul sand block okay should be all the soul steel we need and we chuck it into the pit oh nice okay that was really quick that kind of scared me now right, we can make some pylons which you know i'll make later not right now i want to plop this down and see what it does so that's pretty cool that takes fe missing pylons missing storage uncommon tier mediocre just like three miles okay yeah so i do need pylons <laughs> i do need storage <laughs> storage though uh what is that like can i just well just give me this i'd like a pylon to do this i need four more soul steel blocks man this is such a pain in the butt i'm gonna work on that off camera because that is it's quite in depth. We'll shift gears back to that in a minute. I want to kill the wither a few more times. Can I get a soul crystal of the wither? I mean, if I could, that'd be pretty cool. Probably not though, but it doesn't take long to try. Boop, 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 and boop. Okay, let's see how this goes. This shotgun makes quick work of him. And now we pull out the soul crystal because I'm a little silly willy and I forgot to do that. This just means I can't kill anything until I kill a wither. Please, I don't want to kill a phantom. Um, I'm not going to teleport because I might die. Uh, anyways, yeah, as I thought, I fucking killed a phantom because it's just bullshit. Oh, shut up. Well, we got our four nether stars and our- Oh my god, I got 12 nefarious essence? Holy shit. I did not expect to get that many. Enchanter's Pearl. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Because, why not? Do not require lapis to enchant. Enchanting has a chance to produce both curses and treasure enchantments. And you receive a greater amount and power of enchantments using an enchanting table. So, let's give that a try. We might be a little glitchy with uh, this version, with the uh, with the skill book. Go ahead and plop this down. If I'm at home, I'll just, you know, use this one. Slap a book in. Yeah, because it's got the re-rolling and stuff too, which I didn't have in the quick one. So, I still should do things here. Although, TBH... This doesn't look very powerful. It's like I actually need an enchanting setup. I thought the whole point was that I didn't need one. I should have been collecting more books. Anyways. All right, we're going to shift gears because I really need to get mending enchantments. So, to get the mending enchantment, we're going to jump into the Hephaestus Forge from Forbidden in Arcanus, which I need to look up because I don't know how to make this thing. Uh, I'm honestly just going to probably be right back uh, until I have it built. So, yeah. Okay. I had to look up what basically was a tutorial and i think i did i make it right i don't even know um i did not wait <laughs> this is supposed to be like that there we go that looks right okay now a smithing table in the middle and you take this moon to butter dust and you go boop just kidding boop. now we've got the hippie hippie forge and we're going to need some things we're gonna need aureal we're gonna need souls blood and experience um to do so we're going to make an arcane crystal generator thing, which I think is that, two of these, and then I take this hammer, 
and uh, it doesn't work. So I did it wrong, clearly. So let me find out what I need to do. It's not the hammer, it's a moon butter dust. So take this, floopy. Now this will slowly and passively generate Aureole here. Thankfully, we don't need too much. For the mending book, we're only going to need 70 Aureole. Now while that's going and generating some stuff, we're gonna need some souls, which means we're gonna need a soul vacuum, I think. Soul sucker, soul, southern, soul, uh, arcanus, soul extractor. Much more elegant than the soul sucker. And we just suck the souls out of soul sand. Then it turns into soulless sand. 15 should suffice. Put the souls in the thingy. This level can only hold one soul, apparently. Then we're gonna need some blood and some experience. Experience, you can imagine, comes from bottles of enchanting, and blood comes from blood vials, which I'll have to make. Test tube. This is what holds the blood. Now, the easiest way I can think of to fill this up would be to go into the nether and beat up a bunch of piglins. Oh, do I need a dagger? Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Um, dark matter. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. So I ended up mining for like 45 minutes just to find more of these arcanus runes that you need to make this dagger. And I didn't want to talk anymore at that point, so you get voice over me. The gist of the process, though, is that you make some test tubes, you make the dagger, and you kill enemies with the dagger and it fills the tubes with blood. And then you chuck them into the forge, and voila, you got blood to craft with. I didn't do too much more at this point besides throw the required items on the pedestal for Stella Eternal, which will let me make one item unbreakable, as well as making like five mending tomes to throw on my gear, since I can always yoink it off later and put it on a new set once I get it. But that's it for today's episode, everybody. I know it's a bit short. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.